Good morning guys. Welcome to Sony Mam's class. Today we are going to do the chapter number 1 of Snapshot The Summer of the Beautiful White Horse. In this chapter you are going to learn about the author, an introduction, an overview of the story, theme and message. The Summer of the Beautiful White Horse, written by William Saroyan. About the author, William Saroyan was an Armenian-American dramatist, novelist and short story writer. He was awarded the Pulitzer Prize for Drama in 1940 and in 1943 won the Academy Award for best story for the film adaptation of his novel The Human Comedy. He wrote extensively about the Armenian immigrant life in California. Many of his stories and plays are set in his native Preso. Some of his best known works are The Time of Your Life, My Name is Aram, and my heart in the highlands. This story deals with a tribe named Garoglinian in Armenia. Few characteristics of this tribe are mentioned in the story. First of all, it, it was famous for its hallmark that are trust and honesty. People never took advantage of anybody. An innocent act of stealing is described in the chapter. The two characters, Murad and Aram, they both are cousin. They have good understanding. Let's continue with the introduction. Armenia is a tiny nation between Georgia on the west and Azerbaijan on the east there is the black sea on its west and caspian sea on its east the garoglanian an old probably a fictitious armenian family it was once famous for its honesty but at present it is struggling under poverty even under extreme poverty the garoglanian families are known for honesty the story deals with the adventure and thrill of youth and strong tribe character. It also emphasizes the need of avoiding stereotypes in one's judgment of others. Main characters Murad, an Armenian boy, 13 years old. Aram, Armenian cousin of Murad. He is 9 years old and he is also the narrator of the story. Next, Khusro, uncle of Murad and Aram, who is considered crazy striken. John Bairo, an Assyrian farmer, who is the owner of the horse. Theme, the story deals with the Armenian boys who stray away from the values of trust and honesty for which their tribe is famous. The elder one, Murad, steals a horse with a view to enjoy horse riding and the younger one, the narrator, who does not want the horse to be returned before he has learned to ride. When they are found red-handed by the owner of the horse, they decide to return it to him stealthily lest the fair name of their tribe would be blemished. Murad takes care of horse. An overview. The story is narrated by nine-year-old boy Aram Garoglanian, a member of an Armenian community living among the lush fruit orchards and vineyards of California.
One morning, Aram is awakened before dawn by his older cousin Murad, who everyone thinks is crazy. Aram is astonished to see that Murad is sitting on a beautiful white horse. He always longed to ride a horse, but his family is too poor to afford one. However, the Garoglinian family is noted not only for its poverty, but also for its honesty. So, it is unthinkable that Murad could have stolen the horse. Nevertheless, Aram asked Murad if he has stolen the horse and Murad invites him to jump out of the window if he wants to go for a ride. Now Aram is sure that Murad has stolen the horse but he jumps up from the window at the backside of Murad and the two of them begin to ride out of the little town in which they live. As they ride, Murad begins to sing. Rather, he starts roaring. When, the, when they reach to the open country, Aram wants to ride the horse by himself. But Murad reminds him that it is up to the horse. He says, I have a way with horse. When Aram tries, he cannot control the horse and it throws him. They find the runaway horse, hide him in an abandoned barn and go to home. That afternoon, Uncle Khusro comes to Aram's house to smoke cigarettes and drink coffee. John Byro, an Assyrian farmer, also comes by for a visit and complains that his white horse has been stolen. Last month, Uncle Kusro rose. Pay no attention to it. Farmer says he walked 10 miles to get to Aram's house, causing pain in my leg. Uncle again bellows that he should not pay attention to it. Farmer points out that he paid $60 for the horse. Uncle shouts, I spit on money. He stalks out of the house. Now, I spit on money is an idiom which means I don't care about money. Stalks out, phrasal verb. To move out with the heavy footstep in anger. Aram runs to his cousin and explains that John Byro visited and wants his horse back. Also reminds to promise to keep the horse until he could learn how to ride. Murad rose. No Garoglinian could ever steal horse. Horse must go to its owner. They decide to keep it only for six months. For two weeks, the boys take the horse out of the Murad morning for ride and every morning Aram is thrown but he never gives hope to learn riding. One morning, the boys meet John Byro as they are putting the horse away. Murad says, he has a way with farmers, so he'll handle farmer. Farmer asks the name of the horse. Murad says, my heart. Farmer says, it looks like my stolen horse. May I check his mouth? He finds tooth for tooth and says, had I not known your parents, I would have suspected, I think, it's twin of mine. Children, here tooth for tooth is a phrase which means same. The shape and the size of the teeth were also the same of that horse. The next morning, they return the horse to John Byro's barn. Murad pays the, pats the animal 
when they leave, when they leave dogs are seen but murad says dogs won't bark he has a way with dogs also that afternoon john byro visits aram's house in his surrey to show aram's mother the horse that has been returned he says that the horse is stronger and better tempered than ever uncle kusro shouts you your horse has been returned pay no attention to it so here your story ends this is the sorry word which is driven by the horse now message the primary message of the story is that despite social or economic challenges there are some truths which are absolute and should be practiced under the all condition it is undeniable that the story is set within a family that is poor their poverty is not used as a crutch or something that limits the emotional quotient of the boys or the people in the community the boys love for the horse is genuine and sincere not motivated out of some ulterior motive or greed or economic want their love for the animals quite authentic they are motivated by the highly human reaction of wanted to make right what is wrong so children here we complete the story rest of the expressions like literary devices phrasal verbs and other expressions we'll continue in the next video till then take care and goodbye